Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create and save a new note or memo on your Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Now first, tap on the home button to go back to your home screen. And then we're going to swipe up to go into app screen. And in app screen, tap on Samsung Notes. Once the application has uh, opened, you can see this is the home screen of Notes. And it will show you all the notes that we have uh, created previously. In here, we can tap on the create button to start create to create a new note or a memo. Now at the top here is a title. You can give it a title. So I'm say I'm going to say test number two, and we can choose a folder. You can choose one of an existing folder or create a new folder. I'm going to save it in a test folder here. And you can also choose whether this is going to be a favorite note or not. And then in the text body, we can start to populate the content. A test note. And then if you tap on the enter button in here, there are two different mode. On the toolbar, you can write using the keyboard or you can do some kind of like a handwriting. Now this handwriting will be a separate layer to the actual keyboard. So if I go back to my keyboard, I still can continue to write on the note. And you can see here, if I go down here, I can still continue to write and it will be a separate layer. So the handwriting is, kind of, is another layer on top of the keyboard layer. And in here, you've got some basic editing such as uh, you can use checkbox, check one, and then uh, check two, and then you can also tap on the checkbox as well to make it selected or not selected. There is some basic editing such as uh, bulleting, bullet number, numbering. Uh, you can align the text to left, center, or right. You can select the text and make it uh, bold, so, so you can make it bold, italic, underline, or cross out. And you can also indent the text. So here, if I tap on the text, I can also indent it. So we can make it indent inwards on a different level. So you can indent the text on a different level. So we've got text uh, indentation. And if we go back here to the next one, you can also change the color of your text. So there's quite a lot of different colors that you could choose. You can tap on the swatch, uh, swatches to select a different color from the swatches or using the spectrum color selection. Sorry, so I'm just gonna choose the color again, yellow. You can see now the text will be in yellow. So yellow. So that is a uh, background color and this is the foreground. So you can set the background and the foreground of your text. And then you can also change the text size. I think I just pasted in something. Okay, so I pasted in something from the clipboard. And in here you can change the size of the text. Uh, this one here is basically, I think it's used with an S Pen, which we don't have an S Pen at the moment. And for handwriting, you can choose a different pen, different color, different size or different strength on the pen. There's also an eraser that you can erase. You can also write something and then select. So you can select the text and then you can readjust the size of your handwriting. And yeah, so that is the basics of uh, text editing within your note and memo. Then up here there is also a, an, a, a button. You can tap on it to go into a reading mode or editing mode. So if you want to do reading, so if you tap on it, or tap on the screen, nothing will happen because now you are in a read only mode. There is also an attach button, which you can attach a picture, use your camera to take a photo, uh, scan something or attach or import a PDF document, along with other things such as voice recording, audio file, drawing or text box. Now, and that is the basic of uh, creating a new text in how you can edit and write text or import images. There is also a menu button that you can tap on, allowing you to further customize your notes application, such as sharing your notes, 
save as file, deleting your current note using a page template, change the background color, remove the note from favorites, and add text so that later you can easily find your note. And that's it. Finally, you can tap on the home button to uh, go back to your home screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.